Welcome everyone. I was asked to do a pranayama class about releasing tension and frustration, which can come from either the mental attitude or the physical heat. We've been in a heat wave here in the Pacific Northwest. But sometimes that, those attitudes of frustration or tension or agitation, they don't need hot temperatures outside because we have a hot temperature inside, maybe like a hot temper, for example, usually towards ourselves in the form of things like self-criticism or urgency or frenzy and so on. So in this practice, we're going to do something that helps us to slow down the mind, to squeeze out tension, to welcome in the coolness of the reflectivity of the moon, and then we'll drop down to the second chakra to have a brief practice there so that you can get a sense of what is it like to visit with the water element of the second chakra, the Svadhisthana chakra. Okay, there's more in store for you in the class, so let's head to class together now. See you there. Please take a comfortable seat. Welcome for class. You can rest your hands in your lap, or if your cat is in your lap, rest your hands wherever they fit in the lap. <laughs> You're welcome to close your eyes. Wherever you happen to be geographically on the planet, whatever your circumstances are at this moment, we are actually sharing this moment by having a shared intention and by coming together. So let yourself rest here in the present with companions who are also on a path of awakening and mindfully moving through their lives. And then to support yourself in arriving here to be a better companion to others and also to receive their companionship more deeply, start welcoming your breath to deepen down into the pelvis to include the back waist and the kidneys and then also to include the heart, the upper back and the heart together. And now take notice of the depth of your breathing or the ease or the challenge you might be having with either depth or ease. And as we take notice of that, we're going to be checking in after some pranayama practices. Now, what is the feeling of being more gracefully aligned with yourself? Okay, so please interlace your fingers, place the heels of the hands to go straight forward. As you inhale, press forward. And then exhale, draw in, squeeze the upper back. Now inhale, press forward and go up. Exhale, pull down behind your head, squeeze the upper back. Inhale, press up. And exhale, come down slowly, slowly. So the hands are like clearing the screen in front of your mind, your heart, your body. Okay, now inhale, raise your clasped hands up to your heart. Exhale, place your hands on your heart. Inhale, press forward. Exhale, squeeze in. Squeeze the shoulder blades to the upper back. Inhale, forward and up. Okay. 
Exhale, bring your hands down behind your head, squeeze the upper back. Inhale, press up and look up. And exhale, bring your palms down in front of your face. Quiet your senses, quiet your mind. Come down over the heart, offering peace or nourishment. And down over the torso and down into the lower abdomen. And then rest a moment to see how things are feeling. So that was a simple process of synchronizing breath and movement. And when we're synchronizing really deliberately, one of the benefits is we're using what's called top-down, bottom-up processing. Top-down is coming from the neocortex, bottom-up from the lizard brain, and together they're then soothing the limbic brain or the emotional brain. So we're going to add to our little sequence in the spirit of unwinding whatever tension we've gathered today. So clasp your hands and make a little bowl in the center of the palms. Rest that down in your lap. And imagine the quality you would want to offer to your heart based on whatever the events of the day were. What quality would you want to be offering to yourself? Maybe compassion or kindness, appreciation or recognition. And now using the ujjayi breathing, so you've got that little whisper in the back of the throat, that little whispering sound. Using the ujjayi breath, inhale, raise this quality up to your heart. Exhale, place that in your heart. Inhale, press forward. Exhale, bring that quality into your heart. Inhale, press forward and up. Exhale, bring your hands down behind your head. Bring your gaze down. Inhale, press up. And exhale, bring that quality down over your face, your mind, your senses, your throat, your speech, your heart, the diaphragm, the organs of your body, and all the way back down to the base. The qualities of the heart that we would recommend bringing in are things in this time of day, it's the sunset time of day, moving between the rajas and the sattva, so qualities like compassion, forgiveness, kindness, appreciation, these are all more lunar qualities, qualities that nourish as we receive them. So we're going to practice a cooling breath cycle that helps us to be in that lunar kind of mind, which is like the full moon of the night sky. So make the tongue the shape of a straw and we're going to be inhaling. We'll slowly go up with the in-breath. We'll level the head off. The tip of the tongue goes inside the mouth. When your tongue is no longer cool but has equal to the experience of the temperature of the mouth, then we exhale like we're sighing. So when you're going up with the inhale, think of like drinking in as if you were drinking through a straw drinking in the qualities of compassion or kindness or like the reflectivity of the moon, not the harshness of the sun. And then when we exhale, we release whatever would be an obstacle to that. So place your tongue like a straw. And exhale like a sigh when you're ready to. 
Make a little straw for inhaling. This is called Sitali. Allow yourself to pause between repetitions and do three more Sitali breaths in the timing that feels suited to your own rhythm. With each Sitali inhalation, imagine you're soaking in the qualities like the moon. We are receiving these qualities. As you complete your next sitali, then you can rest the mind just here in the present moment. Notice what it's like to receive or even to offer to yourself the qualities of compassion or kindness or forgiveness, for example. Now again, in the spirit of resolving that which we might be carrying from the day's experiences and then opening up to this, these qualities of like the moon, the moonlight, let's bring the left hand across to the right knee. Place your right hand behind you on the floor and twist to your right. You can look over your right shoulder. Now in this simple seated spine twist, see if you can balance your inhale with your exhale. So there's a quality of like lightly monitoring or chaperoning, giving support to the breath to be equal between inhale and exhale. And then exhale, come around to face forward. And we're gonna squeeze out in the other direction too. So cross your right hand over your left knee, 
Walk your left hand behind you. Again, try to balance your inhale with your exhale. It's a good time to use the ujjayi breathing. And then let's exhale and come back around to center. When you arrive here, I'm gonna ask you to place your hand so that you're gonna be in the mudra for the second chakra. So if you place a little bowl like this now, the fingers are not clasped, but the one hand goes in the lap of the other, touch the thumbs together, and place that down in front of the bladder. The second chakra, the element is water, and it's the watery element that also can give us this sense of um, soothing, forgiveness, softening, but it's as well connected to longing, sadness, disappointment, sorrow. So each of the chakras, they have both the qualities that we would think of as beautiful and the qualities that we might think of as difficult. So. As you rest attention down at the second chakra, the water element, imagine your mind becoming clear, like the light that comes off of the nighttime lake, shining off of the moon. Now, if you're able to drop your awareness down into this part of the body, it really represents that you have a kind of connection to your body, a courage and an intimacy to drop down like that. So as you arrive there, sensing this element of the second chakra, know that it's also the source of your vitality and spontaneity, flexibility, resilience, adaptability. So for the next few moments, just we can visualize the water element as deeply connected to our vitality. And now we'll do a practice that helps us to release whatever is blocking us from being there in the second chakra so that as we finish this practice we're able to kind of rest in that second chakra energy which is the source of life again and creativity and generativity vitality spontaneity so in this practice you're going to place your hands at the small of your back so we'll come back to this mudra which is for the second chakra the svadhisthana chakra but right now place the hands at the small of your back and I'd like you to clear a space so that you can easily bend forward and either place your forehead onto a block or onto the floor. I'm gonna scooch this out so that I can do the same. Okay, and so you're gonna have a forward bend here as we come down. When we go down, 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 we're gonna be squeezing the breath out. At the bottom of the exhale squeeze, what's gonna happen there is you'll have squeezed the breath out completely We'll stay down with the head supported, and then we're gonna relax the abdominal muscles for a few moments. Then we're gonna to tone them, and then we'll inhale to come back up to sitting. So let me make sure that you're gonna see me rising back up and so on. Okay, hands at the small of the back. Okay, let's start with the inhalation. And then exhale to bow forward. 
As you're coming down, make sure your head is supported. Squeeze the breath out at the end of the squeeze without inhaling. No inhalation, but relax the belly muscles that made the exhale. And then squeeze the belly and begin to inhale and rise back up to your seat. And then exhale and fold forward. Squeeze the breath out without inhaling. After the squeeze, deeply relax the belly muscles. Squeeze the belly. Begin to inhale and rise back up to sitting. And then exhale forward. Of course, in your own timing, you may always take a pause between breath cycles. We'll do one more time. And as you arrive back up to sitting, And we can rest the hands again in the mudra for the second chakra. And let your mind drop down into the water element of the Svadhisthana chakra. And listen for the qualities of emotion that are like compassion, forgiveness, kindness, humility, gentleness. As you welcome those qualities to come towards you and towards your heart, like the moon welcomes the light of the sun, and then that's reflected on the water, let's imagine now how these qualities might reflect outwards from ourselves. And now once more as you inhale, raise your cupped hands up to place these qualities into your heart.
and then join your hands together at your heart. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for being here. Namaste. I hope you feel some goodness with yourself. Thank you very much for sharing your practice with me and also with the community. I hope that as these are introduced to you that the possibility of kindness towards yourself and compassion towards yourself, this possibility of a graceful attitude towards yourself, I hope that soaks in a little bit more deeply each time. You're definitely worth it. If the practice was helpful, please do click the like button. That's good feedback for me. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do that as well. It's always great to know that you want to come back, and that way I'll look forward to seeing you here again as well. And questions and comments are also welcome down below. Thank you, everyone. Namaste.